Don't do YouTube, sorry guys. <laughs>
slightly longer. Um, you also can't fold the handles. Um, no, on, they're on much this. more like the Honda Pro, where yes. they're bolted. bolted on, which... They're, they're not designed to go in and out of the van. No, they are not meant for sport pitches, as we said, football clubs, golf clubs, la la la. But, yeah, it, you can get them in quite a lot of vans, I would have thought these days. Uh, one thing I will mention is it didn't come with a grip. This grip fits all the uh, Hater Harrier mowers, but for some peculiar reason, unknown to me, they don't fit this. And we have talked about this before, it gets worn out extremely quickly. Um, Clearly it's something you've stolen off your dad's mower, is it? <laughs> My dad hasn't got a mower. He, he no longer has so it as well. For, I forget how much they were now. Not much. Buy that. Just makes it a bit more comfortable. You might want to glue it on because if you're trying to lever it up, it can fall. Yep. But yeah, which so, the Honda doesn't have. So the Honda doesn't give you comfort. No, but it gives you performance. Allegedly. So what's different? We've got much bigger wheels with this. You haven't got metal wheels. It's the usual Toro Pro wheels, proper bearings in them. Plastic wheels or metal wheels? Plastic. I've got a bit of a curve on the edge of the wheel which helps when you turn if you did hit the ground it won't lift up a little bit of a divot no bumper on it which suits me because I don't need one um, definitely bigger wheels on the Pro Strike compared to yeah. the Honda yeah I was a definite win for this over the HRD cheaper wheels yeah they um, are missing the white caps if you were wondering yeah you ran it into a wall and they fell off um, the Honda Pro comes with aluminium front wheels with sealed bearings um, and changeable front tyres so when they do wear you can change them. Uh, this is just the slightly cheaper model yeah. um, but the, as far as I'm aware the rim size compared to the Pro Strike would, would, be, would be the same there. Um, I quite like the look of this. Red is sort of one of my favourite colours. It certainly looks big, chunky, and beefy. Yeah, you got a manual choke. Yep. On this. So not. And auto. just looking. No, you don't have any of that gizmo. Looking at it, they do look fairly somewhat similar. Like this is metal here. That's a very strong plastic. And if the cord breaks, it's nice and easy to get that recoil unit yeah. off. Yeah. You got four screws holding it on, not three. Four so bolts. even stronger there. Another point there. Easy access air filter. One slight downside, okay, it's got BBC, which so is this. The recoil on the Honda is up on the handle. So, yeah. for comfort, you're already stood here, you just pull it, away you go. Yeah. This, you've got to stand to one side, put that it's hanging out the side. Um, but there's nothing to say that you can't actually turn that recoil around one no. turn. There's nothing to hook it on. It's just, no you point. could easily put a bolt through with an eyelet if you really about it. If you're fast, but because you've got BBC, you don't need to worry too much about that. Big fuel tank seems to last quite a while. Yeah, we well, don't use it that often, so it does, doesn't it? It's just my main mower. So, yeah, obviously the weight is the biggest difference, isn't it? Weight and size. Weight and size. It is a very heavy machine. Yeah. Um, at the moment, a lot of people talk to me about buying on the pros and a lot of them say I'm a bit worried about the weight. Well, comparing these two, this is a skinny mini lightweight mower compared to this beast. Well that's why it's got the bigger wheels also. Bigger wheels, bigger handles, the actual machine, you can't see it on the video, is a couple of inches slightly longer than the Honda Pro. Yeah. We're talking a very tight. There isn't much in it really. Um, you know, it's enough. If you want a, a rear roller machine, um, Hater, Camtoro, Honda are some the two, you know, they're three of the biggest favourites now um, to, to purchase. Um, Honda being single speed rear roller, um, okay, single speed, um, but so is the Hater. It's only really this one that has got the free speed. Um, so, is it a selling point? I've got to admit, I'm quite happy with a single speed but it comes down to personal choice, yeah. um, personal preference. You know, Greg cuts lawns that might be smaller than the ones that I cut, and he might cut bigger ones than I cut. Yeah. So 
we're, we are all different. Uh, I have my reasons for loving Honda. He's got his reasons for loving Hater. Why? I don't know. Um, but it's different tastes. One thing just to mention, if you're comparing this against the Honda Pro, so this is the one down. The Honda Pro with the metal wheels, the bumper, there's slightly different uh, supports on the handlebars. Thicker grade handlebars as well. Thicker, thicker grade handlebar. RRP 1699 on this, and the Honda's over 1700 now, isn't it? Yeah, yeah. that's 1700 for the, the, the Pro. Um, for the Pro Roller Honda is more money, RRP, but to buy from what, for my research, this you're looking about spending maybe 60 70 quid more i think it's just because it's so new and they're more designed for the football clubs and for what i understand chelsea training ground have bought nine of these so they have some taste i know um, west ham runs on the pros yeah well they're west ham it's not chelsea so but what do arsenal run then you have to uh, find out on that one, but yeah, put yeah. in the description if you know. Yeah, yeah. Well, put it in the comment section. Um, yeah. I don't do YouTube, sorry guys. So, yeah. Again, this will be in the battle between the uh, 56, the Pro Strike, and the Honda Pro. That will do at some point in the autumn. Um, probably the best time to do a test, really, with all the leaves and yeah. more chance of damp, damp or pouring down in in the rain, pour it down and just see what they're like, you know. People will love the Hondas, people will love the haters and people are slowly coming towards these, which I've seen on uh, social media, more and more people are starting to buy these, so. These over the hater? I don't know if it's necessarily over the hater, but the fact that I've bought one. Money bags. The fact I've bought one. So, yeah, this does suffer with some sort of problems that the 56 has had that we mentioned with like the uh, frame around the rollers clogging up and that sort of stuff. Because it is the same rollers, the decks are the same, the blades are the same, but, and the bags are the same, different sticker on it. Same size. Same size, everything just beefed up in the right areas so we're, I think we rambled on quite quite a bit about these mowers yeah we thought it might be like a five minute video they might be a bit longer than that now it's getting on for about half six of an it's evening it's getting along Jamie's head though. off so hope you found these videos uh, useful useful yeah productive productive hope it sways you towards the Hondas mm. well if you have a sense you'll get one of these but there you are if you've got the money if you've got the money so there you are Hope you've enjoyed. Please like, share, and subscribe. Thank you very much. And a little plug Pro Gardener on Facebook. Um, you'll find both me and Greg on there.